For hundreds of years, the planet Mars has been the subject of heated controversy among scientists and imaginative speculation by science fiction writers. I see a vast network of channels crisscrossing the planet, obviously the work of intelligent Martians. The simplicity and symmetry cannot possibly be I think be these the are canals, massive engineering works which provide water for irrigation and commerce. It will be possible with larger telescopes to see cities on Mars, to detect navies in its harbors. The inhabitants of Mars are vast, cool, and unsympathetic intellects looking across space at the planet Earth with envious eyes. Are they planning an invasion? This is fiction. But scientists have seen changes on the Martian surface. A wave of darkening in the spring and summer caused by vegetation springing to life. Oh, touch no, of no. Mars is a dead planet pocked with ancient craters like our moon, unchanged for billions of years. The evidence is clear. No water on I Mars. don't agree. It's cosmic manifest. Look at the photograph. In 1971, an unmanned spacecraft, Mariner 9, orbited Mars for almost a year, transmitting more than 7,000 photographs to Earth and enabling us to produce a complete map of the Martian surface. The canals, the cities, the Martians are all gone. Imaginative inventions, optical illusions. We now know that the seasonal changes are not caused by the spread of plant life but by wind-blown dust uncovering the dark underlying rock. Mars is not a dead planet. Its surface is cracked, fractured, gouged and buckled by internal and external forces. Its canyon walls scoured by violent dust storms. Near the polar caps, dust and snow deposited by the wind have built great terraces, each an episode in the history of the planet. Vast lava fields are the congealed flows of great volcanoes. The volcanic mountains on Mars were one of the most unexpected and exciting discoveries. These photographs do not suggest the violence in which they were born. On Earth, volcanic eruptions created the atmosphere and produced the water that fills our oceans and rivers. On Mars, the same magic of physics and chemistry created a thin alien atmosphere and provided a source of water on a planet known to be drier than the Sahara. The most spectacular volcanic mountain, Nix Olympica, is the largest ever seen by man. The flanks of the crater bear the familiar tortured patterns left by violent eruptions of molten rock. The walls drop steeply to a scarred, blackened floor. Frozen lava lakes marked with rough circles where the interior fires of the planet forced their way to the surface and built a mountain. This is not an old volcano. To a geologist, it is young, and no one can say if it is alive or dead. There were other surprises on Mars. Here is an enormous valley, almost 3,000 miles long. It cuts the flat surface of a large Martian plateau. A smooth, sloping ravine drops abruptly to the bottom of the canyon four miles below. The small peaks on the canyon floor were once part of the plateau surface. Today, this great fracture in the crust of Mars is 75 miles across. The original fault has been widened and shaped by various forms of erosion. Great landslides triggered by quakes that shake the crustal rocks. winds that sandblast the receding canyon walls. Running water and the melting of underground ice, followed by slumping of walls.
This valley, of which we have seen only a small part, is so large that it would span the United States and the Grand Canyon of Arizona would fit inside one of the smaller tributaries. But the greatest surprise of all was the existence of hundreds of channels which look as if they have been cut by running water. This section of a three mile wide channel north of the Martian equator is similar to drainage channels on Earth that are fed by rainfall. But there is no liquid water on Mars. If this channel was cut by running water, it must have occurred in an earlier period of Mars history. Today, Mars is in an ice age. But in the past, the Martian climate may have been much more temperate, a climate in which life may have evolved. Even now, the possibility of large amounts of frozen water on Mars improve the chances of finding life there. But what kind of life forms might we expect to find on an alien planet? We are familiar with only one kind of life, life on Earth, composed of combinations of molecules. Some as simple as water, which is fundamental to life as we know it. Others of great complexity. These combinations of molecules form the basic units of life and direct its complex chemical processes. The DNA molecule contains the chemical code of future cells. In the process of cell division, it unwinds and exactly duplicates itself. This genetic code is identical for all living things on Earth. If life exists elsewhere, is its chemistry the same as that of life on this planet? There is no way for us to ever answer that question, except by looking for life elsewhere. And the nearest candidate planet is Mars. In 1976, Viking spacecraft will orbit Mars and drop a lander on its surface. There it will perform a variety of scientific tasks, including the search for microscopic life. But we cannot rule out the possibility that the lander's cameras may discover larger forms of life. On Mars, deadly ultraviolet radiation from the sun penetrates to the surface. Life forms on Mars may have silica shells to protect them against this radiation. We know that Mars is very dry. Life forms on Mars may have developed special ways of preserving their water content. There may be a kind of plant, an ice eater, with fine root-like probes, searching not for liquid water, but searching the permafrost, reaching down to get at that ice. We know that water-bearing rocks can be found on Mars, and creatures that actually digest the rock to extract water from it are possible. Why is the search for life on Mars important to man? Because the discovery of even microscopic organisms in a scoop full of Martian soil may provide new clues about the origin and evolution of life on Earth. And the discovery of life on another planet of our solar system makes it more likely that life, even intelligent life, may exist elsewhere among the countless planetary systems of our galaxy.